What the California Speaks uh, process was able to accomplish uh, that many groups have not been able to accomplish in the past is that it built upon two elements. One is grassroots so that Californians have a voice, but it also looked at bringing in the leadership in a conversation that brought technology along with people to forums across the state that brought the issue of healthcare to the forefront and in essence helped shape public opinion on a matter that is always near and dear to people but they weren't necessarily putting it in perspective. And so what California Speaks did is it put the type of political pressure on the legislature to say we've got to get our act together and we've got to focus on solving this crisis which is important to people. It put the spotlight on an issue that people already knew was important, but it also helped drive the agenda towards a solution, and I think that it was incredibly effective. I was at the California Speaks event in Los Angeles. I shared the stage with a number of people, including Governor Schwarzenegger, uh, and I sat at a table with uh, a number of folks who were there, all of whom were voters uh, from different nationalities, um, uh, different income groups, uh, all with one major thing in common. They were curious about the issue. They came to the forum because somebody called them and said, you should try to be here if you can. It's about health care. And uh, by the time it was over, they all agreed that we needed fundamental change in our health care system. And for me, it gave me the strength, the inner strength um, and the wherewithal to, to continue to fight hard to try and get the health care uh, deal done, which is, you know, why uh, I ended up spending weekends in my office, uh, you know, working tirelessly for thousands of hours, uh, working on the details of this proposal, trying to get it done, negotiating uh, some of those aspects with the administration and the governor in particular, uh, with my Democratic colleagues as well, uh, and working hard to uh, get AB1X approved in the California State Assembly. I mean, unfortunately, it didn't get approved in the Senate. But I took to heart the commitment that I made to the people at the California Speaks event that I walked out of that meeting and that session with a real sense of mission that I had an obligation and a responsibility to work my heart out to try and deliver for the people that were uh, at those sessions what I had promised them I would work hard to deliver. And we did the best that we could this year. We didn't quite make it to the finish line. But I think that we now have started a great conversation about the need to reform our broken healthcare system. The forum had a direct impact on the policy which ultimately was AB1X. Here's what it did to me personally. It said that I had very strong views that I didn't want an individual mandate so that everybody is required to have health insurance. I wanted to make sure that it was affordable. But I came out of that forum knowing that I needed to compromise in order to get this done. That in other words, the end goal was more important than my own personal point of view on it. That I needed to make sure that if we could expand healthcare and access to healthcare to millions of Californians like we did in this bill, 70% that currently don't have it, improve the quality of healthcare for those who do have it and reduce over time the heavy premium payments that people are making on a monthly basis, that those three goals, in essence, would help us drive towards a solution. That came out of the California Speaks process. And that was, in essence, the framework of my own mission and what we ended up doing. So it was important. You've got to have a discussion that involves everybody. You can't leave people behind. And what, in essence, you were able to do is to bring the diverse enough group that is an expression of who California is. California is a diverse state. So not only did you have ethnic diversity, but you also had economic diversity and gender uh, balance. And so those things are very uh, crucial when you're having a conversation about any important topic in California. I honestly have never seen anything like this before. I've seen the grassroots community organizations, but I hadn't seen a real dialogue. It's usually 
motivate and mobilize people around a point of view. This wasn't that. This was mobilize and organize people around an issue. And then let's debate the issue. And then let's connect with everybody across the state to see whether or not we can come to some consensus as to what type of an action plan is needed in order to follow through on the interests, the collective interests that people come together around. And, and so it makes it easier when you have those types of forums for people to participate, because it's easier for somebody to give you know, a full day than it is for somebody to be involved on a daily basis. So when you facilitate that type of participation, citizen participation and civic participation, you end up with a better government for the people. And I really believe that.